Hi, Gemini. Heather here from the Crystal Vein Tarot, here to do your weekly reading for April 27th through to May 3rd. This reading is for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Gemini. It is a general reading and therefore the messages will not resonate for everyone. So be sure to check out your Moon and Rising sign readings as well. I'm using the Legacy of the Divine Tarot and I've pulled one card for the week plus a clarifier. I will also be reading the bottom of the deck for the overall energy and I've pulled an Animal Speak Rune. Okay, so Gemini. Okay, so you have the Nine of co Coins and it is being clarified by the Four of Coins. A lot of Earth energy there. And at the bottom of the deck, nice, you have the Four of Wands. Very nice energy. And you have the Crane as your Animal Speak Rune. Here, I'll try and hold that up more. Okay, and the crane is about, um, it's, it's like the secret guard and, and holding information. So Gemini, your overall energy for the week is the four of wands, which is a really lovely energy um, and, and it will help to mitigate these cards. But these cards here, you have very positive cards this week. Um, so the four of wands, this is a, a card of homecoming, of celebrations, of, of friends and family and, and reunions. So, Wherever you are in the world right now, I'm not sure what kind of restrictions you might have, um, you know, that social distancing or lockdowns or any kind of movement restrictions. But even with um, reunions with friends and family, this can also be connecting with them online. So you could be reconnect, you could be connecting with family even online and having reunions kind of in that way. Especially if you have relatives that live far away that maybe you normally wouldn't even speak to often because they live so far away but now that things people are, are starting to connect more using social media and using online platforms that um, you could be finding that you're connecting more with friends and family through that way so it's, it's that kind of celebrating and with the family that you do have around you and the people that you can be in contact with you're, you're celebrating things are good like you, it's happiness and and enjoying enjoying what you have and enjoying the people that are around you and the people that make you feel good and, and kind of inspire you and uplift you. Now you do have the Nine of Coins for the week, Gemini, and the Nine of Coins, this is a card of luxury or self-sufficiency, financial gain, solo pleasures. So what this means, the, this whole um, like luxury, it's you having the things that you need in life. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you, you have a castle and the walls are, are lined gold plated. It, do, it doesn't have to be that kind of luxury, but it's you acknowledging and realizing that you have everything that you need in life. So it can also be that self-sufficient, that, that you've done this and you've created this life for yourself on your own. It's about you having solo pleasure. So you doing things that you like to do and you doing things that fulfill you, that make you feel safe, secure and stable and having that. And that's that nine of coins energy of you enjoying what it is that you do have in life. And it's being clarified by the Four of Coins. In many tarot decks, the Four of Coins, it's seen as greed, desire for long-term security. You see this man here, he's holding this four pent pentacles really closely and tightly to his body, like he's trying to absorb them into himself. And it, it looks like a card of greed. In this deck though, this is a, um, a card that acknowledges the, um, the, the abundance of the universe. So it's about all good things and the wealth of the universe are flowing through this card and it's about that perpetual flow and source of abundance. It does represent the ability of you for being able to provide for yourself and it is clarifying this and again this is about solo pleasures, this is about self-sufficient financial gain um, by doing it on your own and providing for yourself Gemini and being able to do that. That, so if you have been feeling like you haven't been able to provide for yourself or, or you've been struggling recently, then this would be a good week where you know you have the support, of the emotional support of your friends and family around you and that you're realizing that, hey, you're, you're managing and you're doing, you're doing it on your own and, and, and you're more capable than you realize if you've been feeling low. For others of you, um, Again, you know, you're enjoying your, you're enjoying things, you're enjoying the things that you have in life, 
and you do have that recognition of that that cycle that generosity begets generosity if you are kind of hoarding your money hoarding your coins do um, be careful of being too controlling and protective of your resources. That is one thing that the Four of Coins does or does indicate with this particular deck um, because it is about recognizing generosity begets generosity and that assuming that the universe will provide for you. And then you have the crane there. And as your animals speak rune. So I'm just going to hold this guy up again so you can oh, see him. There, straighten them up. It's fuzzy, I'm waiting for it to, might not. So you have the crane there. Okay, and the crane energy, this is, this is an energy of, um, again, that secret guard. So cranes, they, they fly very high and they have a very hot, loud, distinct call. And when they, they sound at those loud calls, they're, they're kind of, they're seen as the guardians or that secret guard. They're calling out um, to all other animals and creatures to forewarn them that danger is coming or there's danger around. So this rune in particular alerts you to something that you should watch out for, take more care of. Um, so, and, and trust that, but it's also about, so if you're feeling like something isn't as it seems this week, trust that intuition, trust that instinct. Um, but also to trust that there's usually some kind of hidden protection around you. Um, so this can also be a sign that, um, that, there is a, a, that either you are a hidden protector for someone else or someone is a hidden protector for you. And you do have the celebrations with your friends and family. So it could even be someone in, uh, like, like your friends and family, someone that's very close to you, that's kind of watching out for you, so to speak. And that's the messages of the crane. So Gemini, this concludes your reading for the week of April 27th through to May 3rd. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you are notified when the next readings are available. And Gemini, you have a fantastic week and take care.